Hi guys, I am Caroline Trentini and I'm here to show you a little bit of my beauty routine, I guess. Skincare and a little go-to makeup. Whatever you do, start with a nice skincare. So I use this product, it's like my go-to forever since, you know, I started in this career. We start to clean and take any, you know, little things that your skin might have, you know, maybe pollution or, you know, even like a little leftover makeup. See, there's always something. I live in Brazil, so um, I need sunscreen at all times. I love this one. It's from a Brazilian brand that I love. It's called Simple Organic. Uh, see, I, it's almost, I'm almost out of it. I take little drops like this and I just go all around my face. And obviously, as you do it, you also, you know, treat yourself, massage yourself, just do a little, you know, a little love. Next step, moisturizer. I love this one, it's Veleda. Um, I take the light version of it because I think the heavy just give could give me a little pimple or two. And again, massage, massage, and massage. Don't forget the neck, obviously. So we go all the way here. And I moisturize under my eyes a lot because I get I tend to get a little dry around this area. Sometimes I use this, you know. So I do like you know, like this, and then just pull a little there. I can do this for hours. So this is just like a, a basic skincare. If I just, I don't, I, you know, I'm gonna stay home, like I don't wanna put anything on or my skin is going through a lot, I stop here. But if I go wanna go out or like even just for myself, I start a little, you know, just skin preparation. I love this product so much. It's very thin, very, it's called the uh, Water Fresh Tint. You wanna see, like, so you see the texture? It's very like just a serum, basically. Very light. You barely see that there's any, you know, color on it. So I love a little sponge. And what I do, I, I, um, I put underwater for like a second and then I just go and, you know a little dots like this it's basically like I said a serum that just covers a tiny bit but you still see the freckles you're gonna see like your skin through the product you know I don't like make makeup that hides I like makeup that you know shows whatever you have best, you know what I mean? Actually, I was just talking about it because my son, my oldest son, he's a redhead and he has so many freckles and he loves them. And I think because me as a kid, I really hated it. But then I started modeling and then it, I realized that the freckles made me different. And um, you know, what's best than, you know, just standing out for your own, you know, in your own little way. So that was that and uh, since then, I started loving them. Now we're gonna do a little concealer. Everybody needs a little concealer. I mean, I do. Especially, you see, now it's a little dark there. So we're just gonna go very light, dot, like that, like that. Start with very little product, and then you add as you go, instead of just putting like a lot. So let's see how this skin is gonna go, and how it's gonna look, and if I need some more. Okay, I think that's pretty much, what do you guys think? This is like a very light skin prep. I'm very basic. This is a rose gold from Charlotte here. It's like, it's something that I just use with my finger. And I go like this, like this, like that. So you tap and go like that. See, it's very, it needs very little product, you know? You see, it's just a little rosy situation that I like. I've been modeling for 21 years now, and um, there are just so many tips that I learned. I think the number one, it's knowing your own face. Like, you have to study your face. 
even you know to do your makeup or to pose or to even talk or to even like you study your face and what how you feel most comfortable you know and how you feel most beautiful so um like for example my eyebrows i like to you see how the e ends here i sh i think it should end like there so i'm gonna t actually show you now with this pencil it's from chanel it's number 10 it's very light so you don't see and it's nice because it has like a little brush at the same time so you just brush 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 and then you just fill the little gaps and then you extend a tiny bit like that you see it's barely there but it's there you know on their side that we're gonna do a little mascara I like the beach I go to the beach I like have on my tiny little bikini and I just I lay there while the kids are playing like on the beach I don't like to like lay there for hours not really my thing it's a very Brazilian thing to do though like if you go to the beach in Brazil people will go in the morning and just like spend the whole day always with with um, sunscreen and protection like it's the first thing you do even if it's not sunny I will put um, sunscreen on I work with so many nice people you know um, Pat McGrath she taught me the most I think because she was very particular on even us doing our own makeup like learn how to do your lip know how your eyebrow looks best when i shot for american vogue cover she was there and she did obviously that's very you know close to me even like amazing shows that that i did you know let's say peter phillips we worked with Ir mr irving penn together and that was like a highlight of my career stefan mahe as well he was there for me uh at the irving penn shoot we did for chanel for Karl Lagerfeld. We did like an over-the-top makeup. He's such an artist that he just goes and he creates as he goes. I think it was very special the way that he like did highlights and just, you know, it was a very complex uh, makeup. And I mean, he just, he's a genius. So that was a, a really good day. I'm gonna do a little, how you call this one? Uh, Their Wish from MAC. So Pat McGrath, we shot many, many times and did many, many shows together. And she would always tell me, you have to draw a little bit on the outside, on the side that it's a little lower than the other. So you just make them even. You see, it's kind of like, it's very slowly. You're not gonna make like a, like a huge mouth, but you wanna make so it's even. And then paint a little bit here and then whatever you're gonna put on top it doesn't have to be like a full lipstick I don't like full lipstick so I do either like this is a little NARS I do like a little color like this yeah this is also good for here a little blush situation I like to put blush like when you smile and then you'll see where it goes you know higher here and here and then I take a, a blush brush and I do this always with like a fake smile on your face. Top of the nose. So it looks like you had a little sun, but you didn't because you have sunscreen on. Like that healthy glow ish. You know? Você gosta? I feel my lips are a little bit dry. I need to put something on top. And this is the most simple thing. So this is from the pharmacy. I just do a little something like this. And voila, basically, this is like a everyday glow makeup. Last but not least, I love like this little spray thing because I feel sometimes when you put something on, it, it could look like it's uh, too set. So I, I like to make my, my skin move, you know? And also does a little fresh thing. That's a good thing about not using powder or too much powder because you can always add tiny something. Take a little brush. I mean, my sponge, you know? There you go. Let's touch up. 
my definition of beauty is basically highlighting what you have best because I'm sure you do we all do have like our best to show you know it's either your skin or you know beautiful eye or your sh the shape of your eyebrows everyone is beautiful in their own way and just treat yourself well like love yourself massage yourself treat yourself like who else is gonna take care of you if it's not you first one of the most you know eccentric extravagant special like well done makeups i've ever had was for john galliano a dior it was either couture or ready to wear i did many 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 and uh, it was just you know always a moment you she would like gl like glue our eyebrows and just draw on top it was just like an extreme way of like just transporting ourselves somewhere else like you definitely felt like a new woman you know when you wore that makeup so that's the power of beauty and makeup basically it's just to take you somewhere else or just feel your own you know best like today today i want to feel my best on my own skin and this is what i do and whenever i want to like you know i don't know feel like a little bit of a like a wild woman i change i put you know lipstick or like a eyeliner i just it takes me you know makeup and skincare can take you you know lots of places so i want to say a bisou to vogue france thank you for being here with me muito obrigada vogue por estar aqui comigo thank you so much vogue for being here with me that's all three languages that i know i'm not gonna say anything else Mwah. ciao <laughs>